Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'd like to start off by saying I'm so thankful and so happy that you guys are in my life. Thank you so much for all the support that you've been showing me, especially on my previous videos, especially for the ones that I recreated Devasena look from Bahubali too. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You just encourage me and inspire me to do so much more and make you guys happy like you guys make me happy. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Today I'm teaching you how to get this bridal look which is a rose gold eye with actually it's an ombre rose gold with glitter and bright lips. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you do as always please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm priming my eyes with the soft ochre paint pot from MAC and I'm setting it with a translucent powder just so it makes it easier for blending any eyeshadows on top of it. I'm using pieces of scotch tape on both sides of my eyes just so I get sharp edges on the sides and the corners and I don't have to worry about cleaning up the edges. I'm starting off by lining my top lash line with this Giordana lip pencil. This is in the color Baby Berry. You can use any eye pencil or a lip pencil which is either a dark pink or a reddish color to do this part. Next I'm going to smudge this color and smoke it out using a blending brush. From Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette, I'm taking the color Cairo and I'm going to dab this all over my lid just up to my crease using a flat shader brush and then I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to blend the edges right above the crease uh, just so it looks well blended and that forms the transition shade. Next taking the color Giza, I'm going to highlight my brow bones as well as inner corners. Next I'm going to take the color Casablanca which is a beautiful bronze gold color. I'm going to wet a small shader brush with some MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to use this color to cut my crease right up to the center of my lid. Next I'm going to be using some glitter in the center part of my lid and this is the NYX face and body glitter in the copper color and to apply this I'm going to be using the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. First I'm going to dab some glued glitter which is from the Photo Ready Eye Art onto the center of the lid and then I'm going to use a brush to um, add some glitter over that. And as I get to the outer part of my eyes, I'm going to make the glitter more sparse. And this way it gives a nice ombre effect from the inner corner to the outer corner, from a lighter color to a darker color. To prime my face, I'm using the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer. And my foundation today will be the Artistry Youth Extend Foundation. To conceal any dark circles or dark spots, I'm using the Maybelline Dark Circle Eraser. I'm going to first dab it under my eyes and um, in areas where I want to conceal and then I will be um, using a damp beauty blender to spread it out. To contour my face to give that chisel look, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Contour Stick. I'm going to use this in the hollows of my cheekbones, under my jawline and just around the face where I want the structure to look slimmer and just reduce the size uh, because it forms that false shadows which gives a sucked in look. Listen, 
to set the concealer on my face i'm using the artistry loose powder just make sure you've smoothened out um, the concealer and there's no creasing already that is being formed before you use the powder otherwise the powder tends to settle in the crease and your face looks more wrinkled and aged I'm going to let the loose powder bake under my eyes uh, while I use the Rimmel Stay Matte pressed powder around my face. I'm going to buff it around my face to bring all the colors together and make it look seamless. And while I do that, I'm going to brush out the powder under my eyes as well. I'm going to dust just a little bit of translucent powder under my eyes before I move on to my eyes and finish up my lower lash line. So just in case there's any fallout from the eyeshadows, it is collected over the powder and it's easier to dust it off. Taking the color Ada, I'm going to buff this right under my lash line with a large fluffy brush. And then with a the smaller brush, I'm going to take the color Casablanca, which is this gold color, and I'm going to use it in the inner thirds of my lower lash line. I'm using the Wet n Wild On Edge Eyeliner Pencil to line my waterline and then I'll be using the Artistry Signature Color Black Liquid Liner to draw out a wing. To line my lash line with the liquid liner, I'm going to draw out a wing first. I'm not going to line my complete top lash line. I'm just going to wait till I'm done with the falsies so I can go over that with the liner. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to draw out a wing and I'm going to connect it with the lower lash line. I'm bronzing my face using the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula before I use a blush. And the blush is from Sephora. It's called Love at First Sight. To add some shine to my face, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator. It looks really pretty, especially in the evenings when there is flashlight on you, when you take pictures, um, your face glows and it looks really pretty. I'm going to be using this on the topmost point of my cheekbones, over my eyebrows, on the forehead, on the tip of my nose, bridge of my nose, as well as Cupid's bow. For my lips, I wanted a very bright red color because my dress is a bright red and the closest that I could find is the Dose of Colors uh, Kiss of Fire from the ones that I had. So I'm going to be using this matte lipstick today. My lashes are from Ardell, they're the 204 double ups. But before I add them, I'm going to coat my eyelashes with mascara. This is the Telescopic Mascara from L'Oreal. Now that I have my lashes on, I'm going to line my top lash line with the eyeliner. This way it hides any glue or any um, lash band that is being shown. And yes, of course, finally I'm adding some flowers, some jewelry, some bindi to get that whole bridal look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, as always, please hit the like button and please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you haven't been following me on social media, please do so. I've included links to all my social media accounts in the description box below. I've also included links to all the products that I've used today in the tutorial in the description box below. I keep posting videos every week on a Wednesday, so stay tuned for my next tutorial coming up next week on a Wednesday. Until then, you take care and I will see you soon. Bye.